You know, sometimes, you know, I feel like, ooh, you know, I need an Oscar for this. To call the challenges that we have acute is to understate it. Being a teacher today, you know, you have to juggle so many different things and then also be able to do that for a variety of different children. You have to work with what you have in front of you and the kids, as they're coming in now, they're starving for structure. I mean, that's why I love Lansing. The kids are absolutely starving for structure. Unfortunately, a lot of them aren't getting at home. Um, and I, I believe that it's our challenge. That's what we need for them. And it's more than just from the time the bell rings in the morning to dismissal and the buses driving away. We're there and if we're not, we're spending a lot of time outside of our home life uh, working on projects and things that are going to motivate those kids. As their teacher, especially at an elementary, you spend the day with those kids and you become one of them, one of the family members. You're important to the children and you're important to their parents. And sometimes that's tough, but most of the time it's rewarding. And even through those tough times, it's still not something I would trade because sometimes their home lives are not ideal and are kind of sad. So I always wanted to make the six hours they were there at school something they could really look forward to and could come and have a good time. I think the, the at-risk element to education in the Lansing School District it cannot be understated. And the things that teachers do every day to meet those at-risk students where they are and get them to where they need to be cannot be understated. But in alternative education, that's at a whole other level. We can't just educate the mainstream anymore. We have to pull in everybody um, from our special education kids to our, you know, second, our English as a second language children and make that work in a classroom. And so it's a dynamic, beautiful place and teachers um, do a fantastic job of that. That's a real challenge, I think, in our current climate with No Child Left Behind and all the testing is that we've tended to shift teaching towards we're delivering a commodity rather than people need to understand that you want your child to have a teacher who gives a gift of learning to your child.